so I was commenting that I have a lot to do uh, to ARC uh, because uh, what we have now is we have money uh, that dows with war and it speaks for itself to itself to restore and um, I think people are so caught up in thinking that they're aiding earnest follow through even two but the fact of the matter is one it's never happened okay and uh, you're you're pushing the same hyphenated shit a re-round and a re-ground all hyphenated uh, the marketplace is is manufacturing uh, I don't know contrary to I don't want to know and I don't know how to know <laughs> so you're still pushing to say your query and your parsing and your opinions are on the same first uh, malfeasant act which is to dow with war as a way to restore uh, love and more and to be adored and to to story uh, tore the eye uh, you were, you're, you're creating false license to stare, actually, and from there to care, and from there to stare and stair step the air uh, from what you think is the high, highest echelon of star. <laughs> okay, there, heard, now with more here. Okay, so what else? Yes, I was commenting on. I've got a lot to arc, and uh, I'm I'm writing the story in reverse of what, for what it would have been for real R E A L L, and uh, meaning who it's for, the other L, the other love, okay, <laughs> of even do of. <laughs> with the same ID to square hair. H-E-I-R H-E-R-E R-H, your right hand E-R-E uh, -E, before. So you already, you already know. Okay. <laughs> value A-D um, because you are the value. <laughs> Uh, so, I'm writing the story in reverse of what would have been for real, R-E-A-L-L -L versus R hyphen E-E-L hyphen D hyphen. Real doth to dow with war, to two doth to restore the sore, because you're not parting width or ID with value, actually. So as much as the uh, the law condones uh, going to war and carrying a gun instead of reason, even um, it's building a hierarchy of importance that the prime movers are the people that protect you by laying down their life, which is a lie. They're not laying down a life. I'm laying down a life, okay? And uh, no one's squaring. No one's asking. All right? So it seems to me that uh, to scurry around uh, the person who's uh, being honest and laying down their life is the way that you could keep manufacturing uh, no one to be innocent and there therefore you can justify <laughs> justify going to war uh, all the time to carry your gun instead of your reason even do on one <laughs> so what else
you get that if if you're making money by parting wit with hyphenated ego to restore the sore constantly that's red r e d unless you keep re-adding doffed stupid okay that thinks that he needs to go to war to restore the value of the air h-e-i-r that he can't inherently square right here uh y without giving any real repair so i'm giving real repair but i'm, I'm left with no one in the marketplace it's hyphenated to disgrace, die twice, disgrace also the law. There's no one there for me to talk to either. <laughs> okay. Um, if you're paying people to speak on money for no reason, thief end, uh, you understand those are the only two people talking with the first thirst for no reason. They did not square love. They are not love. They are not time for completion even. Uh, they do not desire even. Uh, they, we can pretty much say your, your love, your trust, your tryst is lust. Okay? War is trust in lust. Or, or I suggest you start thinking it through, even two. So if you're paying, those are the people that are speaking. <laughs> and I've mentioned before that, you know, uh, naively, I think people get married you don't realize that you're going to you're going to support dowling with war with your identity that you never get to restore o a r safe harbor a d you never get to you never get to even if you want to okay <laughs> so naively people that think they're in love what you might find out at some point is you don't actually have follow through even to so this is where um this is where we are uh figuring this out and uh honestly i am looking for a division and it only makes me think that a division from people that stand for completion even, you got a beef, hash it out. As your desire in life, <laughs> as your reason, your reason and desire in life even. You don't bring a gun to do your reason for you, for no reason, defend. <laughs> okay. It's not the way we do it here. <laughs> I'm looking for a division of, of, of countenance for people that stand for reason as desire in life, even, uh, do of, ID, and uh, those that stand, that obviously stand for completion, thief end. So, um, it does seem important to, it does seem important to, uh, pursue having, uh, my own, my own, uh, even, uh, pretense, countenance, uh, desire laden, uh, um, me one eye. Money, money that speaks for itself. This is this is who I do. Be, this this I hold this money. Me one eye. <laughs> it speaks for itself. What does it speak for? Go look at the butt buttload of my work online of doing every footstep and sussing things out. All right. <laughs> 
to find out what's necessary and what is not. Using me one eye, even, the money speaks for itself. And uh, what else? It's no, di it's no different a pretense or a quest to pretend than the competitive marketplace thief end. The only difference is uh, the competitive marketplace thief end is not actually asking you to pretend. It's using a gun instead of a, a reason to make you e-vain. Pretend, or it's your fucking life. Because we have the power to make lice. Slice and lice. <laughs> Basically, you get to agree to pretend that your money means some met thing. S O M E T parentheses H I N G E N D that it would end to Dow with I O zero. You haven't made zero unless you make it follow through even two. <laughs> okay. What's the reason to get off that frame? Frame and off to two topped. Uh, the ag in the competitive marketplace is not actually teaching DOF to be anything other than sustainably DOFed. So the ag can get toffed, rich, for no reason, fee fund. I admire uh, Sally Yates. She's on the wrong frame, okay? Let's bring, bring her over here. She probably knows the ins and outs of law better than me. I know what a jackass is, okay? <laughs> I've seen plenty of it. <laughs> uh, and um, I would say my, my one virtuosity is I can read intention. I'm self-taught in many ways. The one thing I would say my claim to frame is I can read intention. I think part of my nervousness, like today, um, before this video, I was talking about uh, feeling anxious and thinking that maybe it's, it's I'm feeling the change of weather, uh, it's starting to feel like fall, fall here in Maine, uh, often uh, the transitional seasons are, are a blink of an eye, they can be, so you start feeling fall, you know winter's coming. <laughs> And uh, anticipating a uh, bunion surgery where my, my foot will need to be up for eight weeks. And concerned that um, I'm going to be warm enough because I don't think I'm going to get my quilt done. Uh, the one that I split with Minnow, I gave him one third uh, for the couch. And the other two thirds I was hoping to put in silk. I got the silk, it's hanging on the frame. Love the colors. I don't like those colors on the bed. So I'm tending towards neutrals again, but uh, I, I don't know that I'm going to be able to get that done for a couple of reasons. One, I might want to do work a monotone pattern on it. Uh, 
probably something floral. Why I like that idea? Uh, Aspen blanket, uh, Aspen Pendleton blanket, uh, honeycomb headboard drapery or backing at the headboard, and I thought the flower was a, 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 a nice motif. But I do like it. I do like it in the monotone, neutral. I think that's going to go express itself best with what I have working in the surrounding. Um, that said, it's less than a month away of, of uh, anticipating bunion surgery, and uh, it's a lot to put on my plate along with, uh, well, the hexagons are going to be <laughs> making those hexagons and doing that, that, that hanging on the headboard, the honeycomb, is going to be longer than I thought. It's, it's going to take about 1,100 hexagons. Uh, I've, I've cut the rows, I've cut the squares, I've, I've pre-shred anything that was, was fraying, I've started to take the paper hexagon, glue and fold, and then I put them under a ruler and to, to just apply some pressure so that they seal and stay in that shape. And then it is my decision for longevity to base every one of those 1,100 hexagons approximately. So every one of those corners, take that paper out because I'm concerned about the heirloom quality for this to go to pass time. If I leave that paper in there, it's going to turn into a lump of dust. <laughs> take that out with the basting, preserve those shapes, and then so attack every one of those corners the cute little knot on the back. Um, my intent is to leave the knot on the back, the uh, the, the back of the 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 hanging uh, at the headboard. You can see uh, the construction. So I'm planning every one of those six points has a knot on the back, and uh, but it was my decision to base base to keep that shape. Uh, you know, once I take it out of the paper with that light bit of uh, that kind of a, it's an invisible glue and uh, it's, you can unglue it. I mean, it's, it's not permanent. So anyway, <laughs> I think I got off track. <laughs> um, I'm going to have plenty of hexagons to do. I was concerned about not having enough to do or having something to do. Eight weeks with my foot up. <laughs> Certainly I could do some sewing. What else? Um, anyway, I was feeling, I've been feeling anxious because, uh, you know, want to make sure I'm warm enough because I'm not going to be mobile and I'm not going to get my, be able to get my body heat up. And, uh, I don't know. I'm just feeling anxious in general. I'm thinking, if I think about that metaphysically, um, I need to be striving to arc, <laughs> to to make this corner, uh, to corner, and um, yeah. I have to get, you know, I have to put myself back on a limb again. Uh, anyone else want to join me? <laughs> Sub B C climb, <laughs> B E A D. How do I do that? Do I make a big announcement? Hey y'all! <laughs> I'm thinking mostly that it's going to be uh, just a continuation on the Rich Row website. If you're there, you will find within that the directions to probably Kickstarter. Maybe I'll be able to get that up before bunion surgery. Surgery, I don't know. But the point is, is I think that's part of the meta of of my anxiety that I'm having. Uh, is change is fall, this change of weather, uh, concern, having a foot up. 
uh, you know, uh, is vulnerability. It's vulnerability for me that's uh, very, uh, I have a lot of self-initiative. Self and, uh, you know, again, it's, it's psychological survival too, you know? At least if I was bored and didn't have anything to do, I used to go to the gym because then I could get plumb tired, take a little nap, go to sleep, do it all again the next day. <laughs> it gives its own structure. Uh, it gives a structure for the muse, you know. Um, I can have a muse that fits in this structure. You work out, you eat right, go to sleep at this time, and you do it again. And you, you know... Um, I find that that works better for me because and I've only done this, you know, I've had to kind of learn this through time because without the structure, um, I can follow my muse, uh, you know, for until I, I, let's just say if I put my muse without a structure, then, then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to upset my biorhythms. <laughs> um, I can lay in bed and my head won't turn off, okay? <laughs> Which means I'm not sleeping. So, um, anyway, that's today. Um, kind of a late start. I have been the last couple of days, uh, well, the last, I don't know, four or five days, uh, most of them starting to, to walk around the back bay again, which is three and a half miles. Haven't done it all summer, did it all the summer before as a way to escape the heat in the apartment. Um, it was nice. It's nice, you know, since uh, the hysterectomy surgery, I'm out, I'm walking. Uh, it feels good. It feels good to be doing something and it's nice to be outside in fall uh, and it's still uh, it's a comfortable experience. <laughs> My plan this week uh, is kind of simple. Outside of, of any appointments that come up for the lice clinic, which I don't have any scheduled, uh, but they could happen, you know, on a daily basis. Um, I don't have any doctor's appointment this week either. So I have put for me, what I would like to get done is uh, I wanted to concentrate this week on notes. I've got a backlog of notes. Uh, give him a bit more attention. See if I can't get get back to my desk top, <laughs> and uh, um, then to to work on the silk. Uh, uh, one thousand one hundred is a lot to do. So at least I've got the cutting of the rows and the cutting of the squares and the. Uh, unfraying of edges. I pulled any loose threads away. Uh, you know, uh, time wise, it looks like I can do about 15 to 20 every 30 minutes. So, you know, even just gluing and folding, that's going to take some time. But I think I would prefer to do that with my big cutting board, cutting board table that rather than sitting in bed <laughs> with a foot up. So, you know, um, notes and to spend some time working on uh, the honeycomb project and seeing if I can't keep putting in good walks outside. It's my three prong balance approach, uh, at least in theory. <laughs> So notes this week, um, and hope, hopefully then I could start to assess, you know, perhaps new vision and new, uh, a new approach for going for reward. <laughs>
rather than staving off of time uh, by making it apparent as my word, you know? Uh, without putting my word in my own frame, doffed, i.e. stupid, thinks my value of being seen is his right to proclaim thiefen, <laughs> okay? And that I should be thiefen, that he provided for me, that he laid down his life. No, clearly, your life is lacking reason as desire even, okay? <laughs> and you're only speaking to a thief. You've never provided time for completion. Which, ironically, should we square fair and square and query here, as with there, H-E-I-R, uh, put your name at the same time, on the same line, and which is my cutting board, and let's see how your penis, your pen, let's see how, let's see how your penis grows. Let's see how it grows, you know? Which is pretty litmus in terms of my endeavors to give it to G-I-V-E parentheses I-T a go. I do not owe Doft anything. Doft has not done anything for me, including a forum, taking it outside with my O-R-A, my mouth. Well, we could also say my cervix. Uh, cervix is also a mouth. And your epithelial epithelial tissue of, of your mouth is the same as your genitals. It's the same type of tissue. Doft has not done nothing for me. Stupid. Stupid has done nothing for me. Uh, to too toft, uh, your money's not virtue either. It's only virtue thief and in the, in the respect that you don't really care to see or square even. Fair air, fair tear. Your tear weight, your packaging, pack at AG, the ag, the agriculture, the, uh, the judge, <laughs> you know. People used to be the land. I'm taking my forum outside and doft is still not needed for me to land. Land, debt, ass, planned. Plant and planned and plant the head to land. S P L A N T H D. Put that L uh, in parentheses also if you want. Span and answer. <laughs> I can parse. <laughs> I can parse my R's. <laughs> with with uh, equanimity and relativity. So, you know, when I'm talking one on one with myself, even, uh, do on the home, home end, as I dine and hind, um, I have a lot of equit equitability. When, I, when I'm forced to speaking to doft, because doft tone is, has gone fishing, hyphenated, malfeasantly on me to speak on his hyphen T, a theory of no actual relativity and no desire for it, um, you know. <laughs> oh yes, but he's, he's in the scope of, of consiring and conspiring, but alas, <laughs> He's not thinking of anyone to be here among himself. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like, where do I start? And I look like the misfit, and I look like the one that has no equanimity because you jacked off, Dow with War, are squatting on women universally. Dowing with War all over the place to save your respect that you laid down your life of a life 
to get a slice of a life back and black hyphenated to the tact as a fact. It was paid in history to continue that way hyphenated. You can't get off of you can't get off of manufacturing. No one is innocent in your wake or in your behind or in your bed as your mistake that you hand doffed. <laughs> all to tear, alter, uh, all the way. All the way you're eating doffed to too toffed. And you're not making doff go away. You're making doff stay. And you're making doff get on the stand and witness. Now doff, under God, what would you do? <laughs> oh, he gets to us say, well, we need to go to war. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? Seriously? I think I'm feeling uh, fall also it gets darker sooner. I think I need to go get another light because that's part of it. It kind of getting darker sooner, just that little extra chill. It makes me kind of want to cuck him. <laughs> and uh, that's well and fine, but I did sleep in and I had a very sturdy nap. Then I fiddled around on the internet looking at more caftan designs and silk and robes and things maybe to be warm and wondering if I could get my quilt done. I'm like, you know what, I, I can't make that decision right now and I don't want to be artificially pushed into it with a coupon. <laughs> and if I'm concerned about warmth, Minnow and I will share uh, the one third, the one third that I have. In, encased in the industrial satin if I need to get through winter and be warm. So I kind of had to like, you know, assuage myself with uh, what, I, what I think are my fears and anxieties and, and, and like satisfy this is a way to get through. So, you know, just shed that. You don't need to be chasing silk right now for the quilt. Especially since that I know since I know that the the honeycomb headboard uh, hanging is is gonna take some time. And I want to get that up and I want to do that properly. It's not a project of get it done so I could do something else, so I could do something else. It's really about something more to be lived in that uh, The real value of creating is is being in it is uh, it's where you go. It's where you get to go and it's where you are. Uh, so I've always felt that the value of being an artist and crafting is you're not coming up with ways to uh, your mind's not preoccupied about how to kill someone you lent the gun to, okay? <laughs> so you can protect yourself. The only, the only problem is the artist does not have a follow through even to. So this is where I am providing a route, a R T. Um, as time, time for completion even. And so far, you know, I've engineered a language to to construct a parallax 
The parallax is seen and it's on the fence at the very least. And if it were just to stay on the fence and that's all it ever did, what it is doing as that value of parallax of a frame for women is um, contrasting the frame and doft thefen for men is you can start seeing through, okay? <laughs> Now, as I get this into the marketplace, we can see who uh, speaks their value and eats as they asked to be AD. And if you're going to speak anything, I would suggest as my guest, it's because you want to. He vend head and hand and high definition so so what we can see then is the more the opportunity that i have to thc taste haste cast uh, hc uh honor cause uh T is time, H is hydrogen, uh, the most abundant element in the universe that doesn't actually exist on Earth. It's my contingency. We need to breathe it honestly first, per the thirst, and um, extend. ID, he vend. <laughs> so the more that I can push the, the cast, the THC, the honor cause, even to the cast, who would stead the head. Um, we get to see who, we're removing the third person, God. Because what we have right now in the marketplace, you're creating a third person that has a conviction to kill, to restore the sore. Uh, and you're stealing the face of value. You're stealing the face of people that stand for completion that they will never have anyone to talk to in your competitive marketplace thief end, where you place doft to lead doft and dow with war to return the sore and store that you parted id with in the law as you're saying this is for the lady for safe harbor to protect. Well, actually, you're not really doing that. You're you're providing guns instead of reason. Your ID is not making a wit tone of honest difference. Okay, for anyone. What it's doing is lining your pocket for no reason. Thief end. The more you stall. So it, this gives, it gives the, it's the dismantling of the third person where your God is doffed. Your God is stupid. And, and doffed is speaking. His money is not virtue. It's down with war. And that's, and toft, the rich person is standing on the estate of doffed that he basically spays, I mean, pays, a doff to to both lay the time uh, malfeasantly to get toffed and to spout toffed and um and this is all sanctioned by law hyphen t and we get to we get to see we get to we get to part ways uh your value is here to have a relationship or or you really don't have an honest say. And if you want to assay, to test the meta, the metal, the met a l l, l over l, love, one love, l over l, uh, you need to be, you need to bring the e i d. You need to be the air h e i r if you're going to speak it here. <laughs> So, what else? I'll see if I can't get that up. But this week is 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 
Um, I wanted to work on the notes. Granted, today, sure. Uh, just have, you know, not waking up. Part of it might be an anxiety. Part of it might be sometimes uh, I feel the need to take a big, big nap. It's like backing up <laughs> to get a better running start sometimes. Sometimes I think sometimes the, the need to just sleep a lot is because uh, I'm dealing with a heavy project. Um, maybe subconsciously I'm understanding this has a lot of girth and it's going to require a staunch bullheaded commit commitment. <laughs> you know, Sometimes I think the desire to collapse into a nap is about really getting behind it. If you don't understand it here, at least on a feeling tone, knowing what's necessary. Or you're, you're recognizing on some level, um, this is a big deal. You need to pay attention. <laughs> to muscle it and shape it and uh, manipulate it. Am I manipulating anyone else? I'm manipulating my gesture as my guest. So it's no different than a creation of me manipulating clay to make a pot. Do I like this? Does it work for me? What sort of aesthetic am I going for? <laughs> What am I going to use it for? Is it merely aesthetic? <laughs> you know? It's expression. It's been very difficult. Um, ads. God damn it. It's been a bit of a bane, honestly, because with feeling some anxiety, the change of the weather, a little urgency, and you know, all these little thoughts. Are you going to be warm enough? Blah, blah, blah. You got things to do. And this is really going to happen. You know it's going to hurt. <laughs> That's what you hear. I'm cutting a bone. I'm shaving it. I'm putting a titanium screw to make sure my tendon is stays in place. <laughs> so it doesn't shock and splay. <laughs> and if that was, wasn't enough, I got the bunion on the other side of the same foot. <laughs> so, yeah, I hear it, it hurts. It might hurt just that wee bit more <laughs> with the extra accessories. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> It's been a little hard to be settled, and then I've got a lot of ads popping up, which basically prey on my state of mind right now, because I'm like, oh, well, maybe I need, should really get a velour robe, that would be, or they've got this, this Terry, or they've got this, this plush Sherpa, or maybe I just need a shawl, or maybe, <laughs> maybe I should get more silk, because I don't like those colors for the bed, <laughs> you know, so, and every time I come back to do some notes today, get on it, that's your quest this week, I'm like, but, but I might need, and look, they've they got this three hour sale for 40% off, yank, <laughs> oh, it's difficult, it's difficult in the sense now, you know, the internet didn't start this way with all the marketing, okay, uh, but for me to be online, which is where I do my work, uh, I can't, all I get are ads. I get ads for being online. So this one page right here, I've got Discover Card, I've got Amazon, Captains, where I was looking at them, and I've got another ad for captains at the bottom. So I've got three different ads I can look at on one page. And, 
you know, that's just the the highway of the internet. You know, it has the big placards up there <laughs> on the road, <laughs> which ironically, uh, Maine, I think it might be the only state that uh, that does not allow those. Does not allow putting that marketing on the highway. All right, I'm going to uh, stop my video here and I'm going to see if I can't segue into doing some notes. 